Okay, I would add my welcome to the second Australian eResearch and Data Skills Summit uh, for 2020. And in the next few minutes before we start, I'm going to spend a few moments setting the scene or giving us some of the context. Um, who are the actors in this space? Where does ARDC fit in? And of course, why do we care? All right, so ARDC. Um, ARDC, we incorporated as a company in May last year, so shortly before the first summit, and are one of Australia's uh, national research infrastructures, which means a national organisation working to support all Australian researchers. Um, you can see on this slide, however, we do have members. Uh, it's a function of our legal structure and the members are giving um, their show of support for the, the values and the activities of ARDC. You can see those that are actually hosting our staff at the moment. Uh, we're at 19 universities, um, 18 plus CSIRO, and I really hope to see that number continuing to grow over the months to come uh, as the national organisation. So our purpose, the purpose of ARDC, we are focused on providing Australian researchers with competitive advantage through data. Really very, very simple. Uh, we do this, we work to accelerate research and innovation by driving excellence in the creation, analysis and retention of high quality data sets. That's where we see ourselves. What I do want to stress here though, is that the ARDC is not the same as the Australian Research Data Commons. The company is not the thing. And this is really underpinning uh, for this week's discussion. The Australian Research Data Commons is something that involves all of us. And what we're seeking to do this week is look at how we partner, how we collaborate to bring about that data commons. So it's really, where does ARDC fit into the overall landscape uh, and how do we operate to move forward this purpose and mission. So let's look for a moment at the broader landscape. Now, even this diagram, uh, which has a number of the other national research infrastructures shown, it's not all of the landscape. Um, it doesn't touch, for example, on commercial providers. It doesn't look at the uh, university institutional research facility offerings and even this on its own is complicated enough. Uh, but there are two things I'd like to bring your attention to. The first of these is that here we can see the other actors, the Australian Access Federation, we can see RNET, we can see the high performance compute providers NCI and PAWSI um, together with ARDC our areas of activity span the underpinning infrastructure, the national information infrastructure, and the discovery, analysis, and creation of data there. So we have a very broad range of programs ourselves. What I want you to really see here though, is that all of this is still encompassed by outreach, training, support, so actually the things that we're talking about this week are the umbrella that covers all uh, of the needs shown across all of the organizations um, and really seeks to, or seeks, really makes a statement about the importance of this week's discussions. Absolutely underpinning. Where does skills development fit within our organization? Well, I mentioned our mission uh, and I spoke about the creation, the analysis and retention of um, high quality data assets. So we, with data and services, a core competency are looking at the creation. Our platforms and software and our cloud offerings, uh, we're really looking at creating that environment for the analysis 
And then we have our data retention uh, program as well. So again, I'm coming back to that really broad portfolio. But right at the start of that, we've got that focus on people and policy. We look at how our skilled workforce team can focus on uh, providing support to the rest of the portfolio. So we've got capability building in co-invested projects. We've got aspects of raising awareness and skills for the use of the ARDC's services. We've got the team working across our engagements group, identifying partnerships to identify gaps we've got in the sector. We'll hear lots about that this week and engaging with the policy team as well. So developing skills related policies, principles and recommendations. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing the same as the, nat the national um, picture of skills encompassing a very complex space. We're seeing it here within ARDC underpinning our activities. What are we focused on? We're focused on ensuring that data generators and users have the skills to create, find and use research platforms, compute and storage resources, national data assets. Um, but the responsibility isn't exclusively that of ARDC. So the challenge is for all of us to reframe the national e-research skills agenda to ensure that we have collective leadership and responsibility for data skills development across all of our sector. And so the skills landscape work will help the ARDC identify the niche skills development opportunities that we need to take responsibility for. But it will also assist in identifying those skills areas that we feel are explicitly the responsibilities of others. So we will be shifting our emphasis uh, from a broad provision of skills development activities to working with communities, institutions and research organisations to develop training and materials for areas of skills uplift that align with our areas of focus. We, of course, want to partner on skills development where our expertise and services add the greatest impact. So what does that mean? It means working with stakeholders to shape policy and infrastructure, leading on initiatives that enable national skills coordination and coherence, such as the work that we're doing this week, collaborating with partners in developing skills training that can be delivered to target communities, supporting career pathways through skills uplift for data professionals, and support building on the existing skills and the trainers communities of practice to enhance communication, sharing and coordination. So you can see that national uh, positioning coming through in all of these things. Supporting partners in conducting and facilitating training in leading edge technology and providing links into international good practice. So a shout out to Karen and thanks for joining us this morning. Um, so our focus is delivering skills training for areas that we have particular expertise. Now, let's look at what that looks like in uh, a little bit more detail in practice. We have our cloud offering, so we're concerned to make sure that the Nectar Research Cloud tutorials that enable the best use of that infrastructure are made available. That's supporting activities uh, that we are offering. If we look at uh, the bottom right hand side of this slide, we can see the orchestrator and the node. Um, that's a bit of a coded reference, I think, to work that's going on in the Kubernetes space. Um, so it's new technology. It will be the global standard uh, for operating. And our role here is making sure that Australia uh, really is poised to take uh, its position with those leading edge technologies. We've got the carpentries shown here. 
Uh, we've got the findable, accessible, interoperable, reusable. These are areas that uh, partnering with others, uh, we can ensure that we have the best uh, educational practices, such as those used in the Carpentries training model, and work with others uh, to ensure that researchers have appropriate fair training. In summary, I think that what I'm really seeking to show you today is we have a very broad and complex environment. ARDC sees that it has a, a significant role within that environment uh, and a wonderful skills team to help us undertake those activities. Um, so I'll just take this, this uh, moment to give my thanks to all of that team for this week and a particular shout out to Catherine there. Um, but importantly, it is only part of a much, our efforts are part of a much bigger framework and a bigger picture that all of you uh, have a role to play in. And so I will give my thanks to all of you uh, in advance for your um, collaboration and enthusiasm that you're going to be bringing to this week. So thank you very much. And I will hand back to Natasha.